uh, Paul Kraszewski, president of GRIP, we did the uh, boss battles. There was pressure, <laughs> for sure. I mean, like, I, I know, like, one of my jobs is to go and talk to a lot of game designers about uh, different things, and, and when I said, hey, we had done some work on, on Deus Ex 3, they, uh, everybody notices, uh, you know, full confession, I'm a shooter guy, I was coming into this not knowing a lot about the Deus Ex world, and afterwards, and it just talking to people and seeing how excited they were, it made me really understand that this is a, this is a big franchise. And so, yeah, so you seal the big franchise, and then you're like, oh my god, there's, yeah, there's pressure, of course. <laughs> The guys at IDOS gave us the design, gave us the engine, and we took a, we brought in our own uh, behavior tree engine, and uh, we gave them back that experience. Boss battles are special moments, so two challenges: we had to take our tech and inject it into the DX3 engine. That was it. And then I think within DX3 itself is that. Again, you're coming at it, and you could be anybody, right? You could have this augmentation, that augmentation, this weapon. And so balancing all this stuff, you don't know a priori what the guy is coming into the game, and you want to give him a great experience. You know, you want to be true to the designer's vision, but you want to give the player a great experience. So the balancing, that was brutally hard. We don't know. We don't know how he's been augmented, whether he can jump and fall a guy, whether he can see through the walls. And so so one of the, just as like sort of in the, in the making of, right, when you, like, we play these levels again and again and again, but before you go to the wall, you, before you walk into the actual arena, I guess, of where you play, you know, our guys would go and say, okay, this time we go play with a shotgun, this time we try the machine gun. And literally go in, hey, was that, did that work? Was that fun? And yes, no, and you keep going back and forth, back and forth. She's feminine, if you will. Like, they're both evil and they want to kill you, but, you know, she'll sneak, sneak, sneak. And, and it, it at least freaked us out, like, when we were getting closer to the end with the audio of, like, you know, she goes, you know, invisible, and all of a sudden you see splash, 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 and then, and then all of a sudden she pops out. So it, they just had very different personalities, and that was also, a, a, I think it was a great technical challenge for us, is that they, they just are so different, but we have to build it with the same technology. I've been building technology for 20 years, and it's one of the cleanest, best pieces of technology I've ever built. So I'm, it was just to go, I mean, it was sort of funny. Normally you would build this tech, and you start with simpler characters, simpler NPCs, and to go to a boss, which is so specialized, like just to give you a sense of complexity, the nodes, the number of internal states of this thing, normal when you're playing your average game, there's maybe like 20 or something. We had like 70 to 80 different things. It just gives you a feeling on the complexity. And it has to be fun. I mean, I think that was for us as super, you know, AI guys, is we're so logical, but now we, all of a sudden it was more, it was like, don't just give tools. It's like, no, give fun. And that was, that was a big growth experience for us. Interestingly enough, the technology we built goes all the way back to the 1950s and the OODA loop. And the OODA loop is orient, um, observe, decide and act and it comes from analyzing how fighter jet pilots would fight dogfight in the air and then they're, they're going really fast they're making a lot of these decisions and really when you're fighting a boss it is you as one fighter pilot against another one so what what you have to do is and so you're you know you're i'll assume you're the boss and i i'm, I'm the player you're making you're you're oriented you're in your loop i'm in my loop what I have to do is get one order of magnitude faster and get inside of your loop. So by the time you're orienting, I've already gone one through. So my word of advice is there, there's a flow to these guys. We think there's a lot of fun. You've got to figure out what their OODA loop is. You've got to get in that and it's, it's, it's going to work out. Uh, but if you just, if you panic, you're going to die. Simple as that. So just remain calm, be zen and orient, observe, decide and act. Get rid of him, Barrett!